Hi everybody, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to colour skin tone in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So most of the pictures of Ivy in this book are very small. This is the only one where she's got a larger face and that's because skin tone can be quite difficult. I think instinctively we all want to pick up one colour and colour the entire face in that shade and it just looks a little bit odd. The trick is to do gentle layers of colour very lightly and to sort of build them up to get the skin tone. And you can colour skin tone any colour you want, so it can be a very dark complexion, a bit more fair or a bit olive. I've gone for a fair to olive complexion, which I guess is a bit like mine. But you can totally pick a colour palette that works for what you want to do. So the first thing to do is to grab some blank sheets of white paper like this, pop them behind the sheet that you're working on. This will just cushion your pencils and also stop any bleed through of a ink onto the page below and also any indentation details. Right, that's us all prepped. Let's get colouring. You will need your copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, some Statler ErgoSoft colouring pencils and also some of their Karat Aquarelle watercolour pencils. I'll write the exact numbers of the pencils I use in the show notes below. So for this tutorial, the key thing is to lay down light layers of colour over and over the top of each other. So don't try and go in and colour the whole face in the same tone. We're really going to focus on lots and lots of gentle layers and just building them up. And what I'm going to do is colour first of all all the edges of the face and also the places where the hair overlaps it. So the forehead, all around here, down the chin and the neck. And then we're just going to gradually build up the layers of colour to form the face. So as you can see, the first layer of colour is super, super light and all I'm really doing is, I guess, like the contours of her face. So all these little edges plus this little piece here around the sides of her nose and up here. And we're just going to gradually start layering that up and it's fine to have white paper showing. You don't need to fill that all in. So after you've done a few different layers of your flesh tones, I'm going to use a white pencil, a bit like I would a colourless blending pencil, and just soften out all those layers and blend them together. I'm just going to darken in a tiny bit the hairline and all these areas around here where the face would be in shadow. So there you go. You just build up those layers really gently. The idea is to do it softly, softly. Don't try and go in and colour the whole face in one go. It really is about layering. And if you want these areas to be darker, these little shadows, just keep adding more and more colouring pencil and use your white pencil just to blend everything together and smoosh that colour around. And also I've given her some little rosy cheeks.
So there you go, that's how I would colour this face in Ivy and Inky Butterfly. I hope that's given you some tips and tricks for your colouring and I can't wait to see how you tackle skin tone. Thanks for watching and happy colouring!